Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, August 25th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had another mostly choppy day, but the Bulls won this day with a little, they kind of squeaked out some wins here on the day, um, holding price support in the chart. That's right where we would expect them to try and defend and hold. And this morning, um, we're working a gap up open here today. So what does that mean for um, how we approach the market for Thursday? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Top of the morning, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts, see if we can figure out what we might do today to manage um, these charts for today. Now, keep in mind, everyone, that we're going to have a lot of data flowing our way here. First thing this morning, we've got some economic reports. We've got a lot of earnings today. And then we have the beginning of the Jackson Hole Symposium where we're going to get a they're going to circulate an awful lot of hot air out of Jackson Hole um, over the next couple of days, uh, putting, uh, you know, all those talking heads, putting their particular spin on the market itself and the overall economic conditions in the United States and even the world. So there could be a lot of volatility, a lot of gyrations uh, coming into the market. We'll want to watch that carefully. So as we take a look at this chart, I'm going to move this line that I've got right here and show you that we broke that support right there. So now we have to deal with it as resistance. We've tried to pop up into that in the pre-market. We're pulling back a little bit, um, heading into some of this data, and we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Again, if we pop up through there, remember we've got kind of this island reversal top here in that chart now we could push back up and maybe fill one side of that maybe fill this up in here um, but i would still be watching this carefully uh, with the economic conditions uh, seemingly deteriorating in the numbers that we see remember the durable goods orders yesterday were bearish pending home sales were bearish and we chose to ignore them in that rally so keeping in mind that the fomc is likely going to remain um, aggressively hawkish will want to just be really really careful with chasing um, a market higher with some of this data coming our way now let's take a look here um, in this chart we certainly have um, that potential for bullishness if we can find inspiration here to bounce, continue that bounce up off this area but just watch those resistance levels above and I do want to continue to remind everyone if we look at a weekly chart over here we're trying to build an evening star pattern on the weekly so um, you don't want to compare the two and try to trade the daily but it is important to note that that is a significant resistance level above. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Very much the same thing. We kind of held in there right on some price support in the chart, trying to push on through to the upside. We want to keep in mind that we um, could try and fill that gap up here and move up to test some of this resistance right in this area. Um, that's where we're kind of stumbling, at least at the moment in the pre-market, pulling back just a little bit on that data. So watch that closely. Again, we could build that bullish case right off of here, a little bit of a bearish case right here. And with so much data coming our way, uh, your guess is as good as mine as to which way this market's going to react today. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ, very much the same thing. Uh, just dancing around some support levels. A little bit different in the fact that we are wedged between this downtrend in this support level here on the chart keep an eye on that and then of course we still have um you know to deal with some of this price resistance in the chart here if we can find that bullishness if we find some bearishness we're going to want to watch those price support levels to see if those bears can push that down through there and if we take a look at our iwm now our iwm has been remarkably strong 
showing a lot of tenaciousness here and really did the best best job yesterday uh, pushing up. Notice we're trying to gap up here this morning, but that gap is already running into some price resistance and we're getting a little bit of pre-market pullback in that candle. So watch this level right up here to see if we can push on through that area in the chart. And if those bears find inspiration, we're gonna wanna watch this level down here to see if they can push it down. Once again, remember, we've kind of got that island reversal pattern here that we'll want to be paying attention to. Then if we take a look at our uh, VIX, well, our VIX did finally pull back yesterday. We had that little bit of, and it really the, the bulls were so light in volume, I'm not really sure we can gain a whole lot of hope or inspiration from that, but they did their job. They pushed up here toward that resistance a couple of, for a couple of days, and then that resistance held. The bulls found enough ins inspiration. The fear started to drop back down, as I kind of suggested yesterday. Probably no harm here in the market as long as we hold that area in the chart. We have certainly broken this downtrend, so we'll have to keep an eye on this. If we catch some price supports or something in here and bounce back up, that could be an issue for us. But for now, a little bit of rest and we got to give that one up to the bulls. If we take a look at our T21, whoops, 22, taking a look at that, you can see that we moved back up here toward that mid-range. So essentially what we did is we went from, well, not quite fully oversold here in the market to right back into the middle, kind of setting on the fence. And if you think about all the data we have today, probably not a bad thing to be just kind of right in the middle there, sitting on that fence, trying to decide, will we find inspiration for the bulls? to move us higher or will we find inspiration for the bears to move us lower? You know, T2122 doesn't tell us the direction of the market. It just tells us where those points are, those pressure points are. And when we've reached overbought areas, we expect that pullback to occur. Um, and so be it, we got it. Now, if we reach an oversold area, we expect the bounce to occur. When we're sitting here in the middle, it doesn't really tell us much of anything other than we're really going to have to be on our toes watching those data points and um, trying to decide how that market's going to move. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 did rebound back yesterday, so I'm going to give this to the bulls as well. This is very good that they're holding that downtrend as support and holding support levels in the chart. If they can follow through on that, uh, continue to push higher, then we may be in pretty good shape. And I've got to say that about the indexes as well. If they hold those support levels and push on through to the upside, got to give, got to give it up to the bulls and. Um, I'm going to have to be much more bullish here in the market, despite the data that's out there. And if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 breaking through that downtrend here, and the good news is on this pullback, we're holding right in this area. Now, I do think T2108 is still you know, on that extended side. We may get a little bit of bouncing around in here. So we're on that decision point. Here in the market, will the bulls take over and push us back up? Will the bears push us on through? And I just don't think we're going to know until we get some of this data today. So once again, I'm going to skip right over um, um, T2101 today because, well, doggone it, there just isn't much we can gain from it. If we look at our QQQ here yesterday, look at how light the volume has been. QQQ is light, SPY has been light, IWM has been light. Um, so very light volumes here. Um, and I'm not sure I would get really encouraged about the bullishness yet unless we start to see that pick up. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar 
it's going to create likely create some gyrations here in the market notice we got our gdp number coming out here now the consensus is suggesting that the gdp will be flat compared to last reading so we'll see that that's no improvement in gdp um so watch that carefully if that does come in flat and by the way that's a negative number so our second reading in the second quarter of a negative GDP, if that is the case. So we'll want to pay attention to that. And if we have um, um, a better than expected number, expect quite a little bit of um, action on that if it comes in strong. If it comes in weak, then again, we could activate those bears. So we'll want to watch that close. If you take a look right here, we are then going to follow that immediately with jobless claims. And there has been a little bit of concern in those jobless claims. Uh, we've been hearing about more companies um, releasing folks, laying off. So we'll want to watch that number if it starts to creep up. Um, that could be a concern here. If it doesn't creep up, that's going to be a concern for the FOMC because the FOMC wants to slow this market. And uh, we'll want to watch that carefully. If it comes in strong, well, that could be just about as big a negative um, in the market because that would give the FOMC full um, ability to move aggressively. So watch that close. Then we're going to have petroleum or I mean natural gas report here. We've got some bond auctions, four week, eight week, seven year auction here. Um, we got a Fed balance sheet at the end of the day, which um, won't move the market probably at all and then if we take a look over here tomorrow we've got our favorite the fed i'm not i'm not going to say our favorite but the fed's favorite um um indicator in the market and that's going to be the core pce number so we'll want to keep an eye on that we've got international trading goods and then we're going to see these retail inventories that have been increasing we'll want to keep an eye on that as well as wholesale inventories that have been increasing keep an eye on that my favorite indicator out there is the consumer sentiment consumer sentiment tells us you know how that consumer is feeling so we'll want to watch that one closely tomorrow and then we're going to have jerome powell speak and everyone's expecting him to come out and be hawkish so um, watch that closely um, tomorrow's going to be just about as busy a day with a flood of talking heads in Jackson Hole um, you know adding to adding to the heat of the summer all of that hot air is going to come flying up out of there so watch that closely let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar here for today now our earnings calendar is a busier one today we have um, it is our biggest day of the week on earnings reports and we do have um, a number of notables that you'll want to be paying attention to first off we're going to hear from um, some retail abercrombie looks like abercrombie is disappointed here this morning we've got uh, more retail burlington looks like that's a little bit on the negative side we've got dell um, uh, reporting today watch that close um, other retail we've got like dollar general Looks like that one's a little bit upset to hear this morning. Um, Dollar Tree, that one's really upset here this morning. Um, the Gap Stores, we'll want to keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Marvel here today. We're going to hear from Peloton. Peloton made a deal with Amazon yesterday, popping um, to, to sell product on Amazon popping the stock up but it looks like their earnings results are not all that happy here and then uh, later on today we've got Ulta Oops. reporting yeah keep an eye on Ulta we've got VMW and we're going to have W Day um, reporting so keep an eye on those today could be relatively active um, 
um, in this morning session with a little bit of volatility with all of this data coming our way. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find them to be useful or helpful, if you can please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone. We're moving toward slowly, but we're moving toward that 30,000 mark. And I never would have expected um, that many folks um, uh, would be interested in data that doesn't provide any hype. It doesn't provide any prediction in the market. Um, so thank you very much, guys. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in these trades um, because of the, the news and information coming out over the next couple of days, anything is truly possible. And like I said at the beginning of the video, your guess is as good as mine as to which way we go. First off, I wanna bring up, boy, we had some big moves. Now, this is a stock that I hold. I been holding this as a long term you can see I had a little bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to form here and I, I gotta tell you I was close to closing this trade down and then we got news that Japan is getting very very favorable again to um, uh, their nuclear energy um, as a matter of fact we're hearing Europe working to revitalize and um, uh, pump up its nuclear energy plant. And one of the reasons that is happening is because our um, energy situation is getting pretty critical on the fossil fuels area. So um, these are really starting to perk up. And we had a big pop in um, um, CCJ, um, um, URA was another one, big popping move to the upside. Keep a close eye on some of those alternative energies, uranium plays, because they seem to be get, catching some life here in the chart. Now that CCJ, I have a bias on, I own it. Um, and as a matter of fact, yesterday on this big pop in the afternoon, I sold some out of the money calls against it to hedge the position uh, in case it rests or pulls back. So watch that closely and just wait for that next potential entry into the trade. Speaking of alternative energies, take a look at Plug Power. Plug Power had a good day yesterday popping up. Now, I will say that I think this is pretty darn parabolic um, in its move here in that chart but we've got all of that government money flowing to some of these alternative energy sources out there so keep an eye on plug we're holding some support levels in here as you can see holding in there finding some buyers we will want to watch the resistance levels up here in the chart that's looking pretty good here overall. Um, you could also take a look at Ballard Power. Now Ballard's not in as good a situation, but what I do think is notable is that we're holding that trend right there and we're holding this support. So a little bit of rest or pullback in here would set up a nice opportunity on Ballard. And again, these are more in that hydrogen area of alternative energies. If you take a look at, um, some of the solars first solar had a really good day yesterday and perking up and notice that we may have that opportunity if we can follow through here we could pop through that resistance in the chart now once again i have to say these are a little bit on that parabolic side and really really steep but with all that government flowing money flowing there may be that opportunity those can pop on through so take a look at a few of those you know um, run also had a really good day popping up yesterday you could look at tan tan is the etf um solar etf um, nice little pop-up yesterday so watch for those potential follow-throughs in some of those alternative energies when we talk about energies boy we don't want to miss out on what's happening here in oil and gas we know that um, there is talk from Saudi Arabia that they are uh, OPEC that they are going to cut production um, here in um, the near future and that has really inspired oil prices higher so keep an eye on that anything in these um, 
big old oil companies, they're looking good. Exxon Mobil, um, Devon Energy, looking very, very good. And then I think you have to keep an eye on natural gas. Um, take a look at UNG. UNG holding up here nicely in a nice upside trend. Broke through some resistance here in the chart, just sitting there resting, waiting for that opportunity that we may catch those buyers and push that on higher. And I think with the situation that we have over there in Europe, and actually a pretty desperate situation, cold is starting to um, become a problem. If you saw some of the news, UK uh, uh, folks are actually favoring going back to the office rather than working at home because it's cold and um, energy costs are high. So you'll want to watch that closely here um, as um, we progress. So um, UNG boil uh, might be um, something you would be interested in. Um, so keep an eye on some of those charts. They're holding up pretty well. LNG would be another place to look. And this has been incredibly strong here recently. Now, I would suggest this has moved up so much so fast. This needs a little bit of a rest or pullback. But keep an eye on that chart. Um, other places you might want to look. Now, it's kind of interesting to be talking about here. But we're seeing um, quite a little bit of activity in dividend paying old boring food stocks. Take a look at General Mills. General Mills continuing to hold up here. Um, Post. Post is holding in um, a bullish pattern here. Clear up. I mean, all the way broken out here. Um, blue sky highs above in post um, we have seen um, Kellogg's um, holding a breakout up here in that chart very very bullish we're also seeing things like um, SJM um, better get the right symbol um, SJM Schmuckers uh, moving up strongly now we've got a big resistance area here I would watch that closely but a rest or pullback would set up an opportunity um, Stocks like CPB, look at this beautifully, uh, it's boring, but beautiful upside trend, very profitable upside trend here in some of these charts. So Campbell Soup, um, Hormel um, showing lots of strength. So keep an eye on some of those food uh, bearing stocks. And you might also wanna take a look at something that's kind of odd to me. We've seen a big spike in some of these commodities. These are food tracking commodities here, wheat, corn, those kind of things. Really spike, they're getting showing a pop and drop here on the day, but you'll wanna watch that closely here. Um, we're starting to see some of those food prices starting to push back higher. So um, um, maybe some pressure um, on our, um, inflation situation here that the Fed's going to have to deal with. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all an awesome day. Thanks so much for being here. Be very, very careful this morning. There's going to be a lot of data coming our way, probably going to be a lot of price gyration um, in the market. So make sure you're protecting your capital. Y'all have a really good day and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning.